What's going on guys? So today I'm gonna to switch it up and do some freshwater fishing. I used to only freshwater fish, which is kind of ironic because I live on Long Island, which has limited freshwater fishing, but world-class saltwater fishing. But anyway, about two years ago, I switched almost exclusively to saltwater fishing and kind of left out freshwater fishing. So today in this video, I'm gonna go back to the pond where I used to always fish as a child and do some freshwater fishing. Now I was able to jig up a few pumpkin seed sunfish here, but even that was difficult because they're currently spawning at this time of year. As you can see, a spawning sunfish has little to no interest in bait put in front of it. Next I tried to catch some largemouth bass but got totally skunked. Which is a shame because this pond used to have some great bass fishing, as you can see by these two fish I caught in 2014. in search of some better fishing spots. As you can see, this is a uh, more of a stream slash swamp, and um, it's loaded with crappies, which I love to catch because I've never caught one before in my life, and perch, sunfish, and some bass. So let's try to get on as many species as we can. I had to wade barefoot downstream for quite a ways, which was a little scary when you can't see the bottom and you're stepping on sticks and rocks and deep mud. Green sunfish, I think. Pumpkin seed? Good, and he didn't take the bait. I love that. Well, that was a big bird of some kind. Probably a swan. Another pumpkin seed. Now we're going to try a 1 16th ounce jig head with a gulp minnow. Largemouth bass, species number two, but still not that crappy I'm looking for. Well, that looks a little risky. A good sized pumpkin seed. They're currently spawning, so their colors are extra vibrant. Alright guys, thanks for watching the video. In the future, I'm going to try to post some more freshwater content like this. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications on future videos.